mailbox, in my mailbox, and say I'm here to do my in my mailbox. In my mailbox. In my mailbox. So mailbox. But in my mailbox. And in my mailbox is mailbox. Hi guys, this is Jessica with Chapter Chicks. Um, I'm here to do my 26th in my mailbox. In my mailbox is hosted by Christy over at www.thestorysiren.com. Um, it's a totally awesome website. It's what really got me into blogging in the first place. Definitely check her out if you haven't already. I'm sure you have. Um, in my mailbox is a weekly meme where bloggers and YouTubers and just book fans in general discuss what they got in their mailbox this week or they went to Borders to get or Walmart or just basically book hauls, a weekly book haul. Um, I actually got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books this week to discuss um, because I got six of them last week and um, I didn't do it in my mailbox. Well, I did one. I recorded it, but I just never actually uploaded it. So I'm just going to combine it all into one big in my mailbox. So let's get started. The first book I got is Gone by Michael Grant. Um, this is the first book in the series. Um, it's a really, it's pretty popular among the YA book world. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. It sounds really good. It, what it's about is, um, for some reason, everyone except teenagers disappears parents, older people, the elderly, um, babies, toddlers, preteens, everyone disappears. And everyone except for them. And like animals are going crazy. There's like the strange evil animal looking and it sounds really good. Um, I can't imagine what a world without adults would be like because, you know, they're who you go and get stuff from the store from because they own, they work at that store, they own the store. They're who you go to the dentist, you go to the doctor. They're who, adults are who run, run the place basically. And if they were all just gone, that would be crazy. And huh, hence the title, Gone. So yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. It looks really good. The next thing I got was Kiss of Life. Um, this is the second book in the Generation Dead series. And this is by Daniel Waters. Um, I just read Generation Dead, and I, I really liked it. I think I gave it a B plus, but I'm not for sure. Um, but it was really good. Um, what Generation Dead is about, I don't want to talk about what this one's about because um, it'll spoil the first one. But Generation Dead is basically when American teenagers start waking up after they die. They become zombies. But they're not like zombies like, I'm going to eat your brains. They're like, like just slower like kids. They're, they basically do the same things that kids do. They like go to school and stuff, but it's like a big huge controversy. And then a girl falls, or she doesn't really fall in love with one, but she kind of develops a romantic interest with one and becomes a big advocate to make equal rights for the living impaired, they call them. And it's a really good series. But so, yeah, this is the second one called Kiss of Life. And the covers are gorgeous. I know you guys can't see that very well. There you go. The next book I got is Betrayal, and this is by Lee Nichols. This is also a sequel to Deception by Lee Nichols. It is basically about, I don't really, it's called the Haunting Emma series. The first one is about a girl who kind of has these, this weird talent, and her parents are missing and, like, all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, they're not, like, actually missing, but she can't get a hold of them and there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. I don't remember exactly what the synopsis of the first one is so I don't want to give away too much but I read it and I really liked it so I definitely picked up this one when it came out. Um, Betrayal. Yeah, really good. The first one like I said is Deception so you just should, should definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, I don't want to give away anything so I'm not going to talk about that one too much. The next book I got is The Secret Circle Bind Up Sequel. So there is a secret circle, I think it's, um, the, I don't remember what the first one is, but it's, I don't remember what it's called, but this is the second one, the one with the dude on it, and it's the captive part two and the power, and um, I read the first secret circle with Bind Up by L.J. Smith, the same person who wrote Vampire Diaries and Night World, 
And it, basically what this is about is a girl who um, moves away somewhere. And crazy stuff happened. I don't remember the first one. Of, I don't remember the synopsis of the first one of this either. But, um, so I don't want to say too much about it. But it's good. I liked it. I liked it way better than The Vampire Diaries. So. Um. And the CW does The Vampire Diaries show, which you guys know that I'm a huge fan of. And they have now recently adapted this into a television show too. So I'm definitely checking it out. Cannot wait to see it. The next book I got is the third book in the Sookie Stackhouse series. Club Dead is what it's called. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's by Charlene Harris. And um, it's basically just another vampire series, but it was from a while ago, and it's more of an adult series, way more of an adult series. And um, it's what the HBO series True Blood is based off of. And I read the first one, and it was pretty much a lot alike. There were some differences, but... The general plot was the same. So if you liked, if you like True Blood, you'll like the books. <clears throat> At least the first one. The first one's the only one I've read, but this is the third one. The th second one is called Living Dead in Dallas, I think. Yeah, Living Dead in Dallas. So there's Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, and then Club Dead. The next thing I got is actually for review. It's an ARC that was sent to me. Um... It's Haunting Violet by Alexander Harvey, and Alexander Harvey is who wrote the Drake Chronicles, and I heard those were really good, so I'm really excited to read this. Um, it comes out in like 11 days, I think, so, but what it's about is a girl who can talk to ghosts, pretty much. Um, I'm pretty sure it's set farther back in time, and her mother is a fake medium. And then she discovers that she actually is a medium. So, it sounds pretty cool. And look at that cover. It is, like, so pretty. I know you guys can't see too well with it, but it's a very pretty cover. And the next thing I got is also for review, but I've talked about it before because I've gotten two other copies of it. And it's The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. Um, this comes out in August, and I definitely plan on reading it. We'll probably be giving away the two other copies soon, so... Check for those on the blog. The next two things I got were books that are back to buying. Those two were the only two that were for review that I got. And the rest I bought. But um, I'm just going to show these together because they're the same series. And I've already read them. I just needed to get my own copies. Um, it's the Vampire Diaries series by L.J. Smith. And the first one, I think, is The Fury. and No, the first one is The Awakening and the Struggle. And then the second one is... The Fury and the Dark Reunion. So, boy first, girl second. And, um, these are what the show, The Vampire Diaries, are based off of. And they're, they're pretty good. They're not, like, so fantabulous that you can't not go with them without reading them. But they're definitely books that I would recommend having if you're a YA collector like I am. And I read, um, Hannah's, which is Angie's daughter from YA Fiction Freaks. Because she wanted me to read them first before Hannah read them to see if they were appropriate for her age. And they were. So, Hannah is like way farther in the series than I am. But, next book I got is Divergent by Veronica Roth. And I haven't read this, but I read really good things about it on some blogs yesterday. I was kind of going through and cleaning up my bra play my blog reel. And deleting like blogs that don't exist and stuff like that anymore. <clears throat> Basically what this one is about there, um, it's a dystopian. And it's divided into five factions, it says. It's Candor, which is the honest. Abnegation, which is the selfless. Dauntless, which is the brave. Amity, which is the peaceful. And Eurydite, which is the intelligent. And when you're 16 years old, you have to pick one of those, like, cultivations to belong to. And I'm losing my voice. I'm sick. <clears throat> but, and then, um, she... It's, I think it's a girl. It might be a boy. Yeah, she wants to pick a different one than what the rest of her family is, but if she does, then she, um, she won't be with her family anymore because I guess they don't, like, associate with each other or don't live together or whatever. And then it says there's a competitive initiation that follows, and, um, there's a boy involved, and she has a secret that she keeps hidden, but it can change everything, save her life, save her family's life. 
So hmm, sounds pretty good. I don't really I don't really know what I don't really understand what it's about besides the whole dystopian five categories thing. I don't really get the rest of it, but it sounds really good and I've read that it was really good, so I really am looking forward to checking that out. The next thing I got is Rampant, and this is by Diana Pederfrund. Sorry if I butchered your name. But um this is about killer unicorns, which sounds really cool. Um basically what happens is it says it's on the back, I haven't read it yet. The main character, Astrid, um, his mother keeps talking about how there's killer unicorns on the loose and stuff like that. And she's just like, Psh, no way. And then her boyfriend gets killed by one. So she goes to Rome to train as a unicorn hunter. And her job, or she, she's basically training to kill unicorns for a living. And um, there's like all kinds of creepy things happening, I guess, at the academy. I guess cloisters is what it's called. Cloisters. And um, she's training at the academy, and all kinds of things are going crazy. There's bone-covered walls that vibrate, and all kinds of weird, mysterious things happening. And this looks really good. This is because there's not anything else about killer unicorns out there. You always consider unicorns to be this magical, beautiful beast that is pure goodness. And then this one makes it evil, and that's pretty awesome. So definitely checking this out soon. The next book I got is Starlighter, and this is by Brian Davis. Um, it's, it sounds really cool. It's obviously about dragons, because it says dragons, starlight on it, you know, or dragons of starlight. But, um, what this one kind of is about is there's a girl, and she, um, there's two, like, different dimensions, and there's one dimension where they, people believe in dragons, but they, there's a portal that takes you to a world that is where people are enslaved by dragons and then there is also there's so there's two worlds one where people are enslaved by dragons and one that has a portal in between it and one where there's just like that myth of that and then he receives a message from his missing brother about this portal and this girl in the enslaved one kind of has this gift that could save everyone and they kind of work together to do that to save everyone from the dragons that are enslaving them. It says, as Jason and Corin work to rescue the enslaved humans, a mystic prophecy surrounding a black egg may make all their efforts futile. So that's, it sounds really good. I'm not explaining it right. I'm terrible at explaining things. But this looks really good. I'm really glad I picked it up. I almost didn't. I almost got something else instead. But yeah, it looks really good, and I cannot wait to pick it up. And plus, it's pretty. And then the last thing that I got, I've been really wanting to read. It's called Starcrossed, and this is by Josephine Angelini. I've heard really good things about it. The cover is absolutely gorgeous. It's shiny, and it's pretty. It has this girl on it. And basically what it's about is um, there's this girl who keeps having terrible nightmarish dreams of these three women. And she later learns, I think she learns this, it kind of suggests it in the plot, I don't know though, that it's the fates. And if you know anything about Greek mythology, there's there are the three women who see the future, they're prophetic. Um, if you've seen Hercules, they're the ones who share the eyeball. But, um, yeah, so she, the fates have been telling a prophecy and reliving this dangerous thing over and over throughout the histories. And, um... Helen, the main character, and a boy that she, I guess, has a romantic interest in are the main, basically the main people in this tragedy that the fates insist on repeating through history. And she will unlocks a whole bunch of secrets that says about her interests, ancestry, and apparently she's a demigod and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And if there's a book about Greek mythology, I'm going to read it because I love Greek mythology. And plus this is so pretty. I love it. I cannot wait to read this. Um, I got this instead of Red Glove by Holly Black, so you know how much I wanted to read it. Or want to read it. But yeah, that is all I got in my mailbox this week. What did you guys get in yours? 